six month pregnancy update video. Um, today is a very beautiful day in London. It's blue skies and there's sun, which is rare, so I decided to shoot this video in Regent's Park. Just a few days ago, Dan and I were also in Barcelona, and so I got plenty of sun there as well. And I will add some footage at the end of this video of our trip from this past weekend. I started the month not in great shape. I caught some kind of a bug or a virus or something. I think it was at work. I called my doctor because I wasn't getting any better and they told me to call the hospital and they told me to come in. So when I got there, they took my temperature and I had a fever and apparently my body had gone into dehydration and starvation mode. So they quickly hooked me up to IV and I went through two bags um, just to get the nutrients and everything back into my body because the baby usually steals all of your nutrients. When you're pregnant, your immune system is a lot weaker, so you're more susceptible to catching colds or bugs or flus and all that kind of stuff. Um, and when you do get sick, it just takes double the amount of time to get better because obviously you can't take any antibiotics or anything like that. So really, you just have to stay home and rest, which is what I did. And yes, I felt a lot better after that passed. <laughs> Dan was actually in New York that weekend, which I don't really mind because I prefer to be alone when I feel sick anyways. When he did come back, he, um, at like six in the morning, he went to the grocery store on his way home and just got me a bunch of like, um, stuff to recover so he got me coconut water and orange juice and uh, fruits and all that kind of stuff and he even brought me back smart food and Cheetos from Toronto and he got me flowers too so that was very sweet other symptoms I've experienced this month is that I feel a bit more achy all over especially in my back because I am growing there is a lot more pressure on my uterus which is putting pressure on my back in my last video I mentioned that I will likely feel the baby move in this next month. Um, I actually haven't felt it yet. I am at 24 weeks and um, I haven't felt anything. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be any day now. So I will let you know my next update um, when that happens and how it feels. Um, you can't really tell, but I'm wearing uh, one of my new shirts. It says, baby on board. <laughs> Thought it was kind of cute. A good friend of mine here in London got me this cream. It's called Mama Bee, and you just rub it like all over your belly, and it's supposed to help prevent stretch marks. Um, apparently, in the world of creams for pregnant people, this is one of the best ones. I do feel that um, most of it will be genetics uh, in terms of if you get stretch marks or not. So far, so far, I have been okay. Next. Um, can I have a sip of my latte? This is okay, by the way. You can have up to 200 milligrams, milliliters, milliliters of coffee a day, which I think is like one or two cups of instant. Yeah, I have one of these like, you know, every few days, which is totally fine. So in terms of how I've been feeling and my mindset, um, in the past week or two, I've been feeling very strange in the sense that as I'm growing and my body is changing, it feels very unfamiliar. Like when I touch my stomach, it is very, very hard and obviously bigger. And my belly button even, like every time I touch it, it feels like it's not mine. So I feel disconnected from myself. Like it's very foreign feeling. I don't think I'm really explaining it right. <laughs> I don't know if you can relate if any of you girls felt that way, but it's just a very strange feeling. So Dan encouraged me to um, purchase something for the baby every month. He thinks that it would be good for me and it would help me get excited. Ugh, sorry, I think I've got a wedgie. <laughs> Last month I got this um, sort of like a little banner that goes across, will go across the crib with a little elephant hanging from it. Um, and then this month I purchased this uh, book. It is called First Memories. So it starts off with um, first day home. And it says like the date, the time we arrived home, our address, mom's thoughts, dad's thoughts. 
And then um, it goes into like the various months, so month one through 12. And then it has here amazing moments, adventures we've had, uh, we love, and it was funny when you, so you can just fill this in and then there's a page for pictures. I actually have a Polaroid camera now so I can just print and stick the pictures on this book. And like I said, it's a good way to capture um, and document the first year. I actually really love it when you've got something physical to hold. It's nice uh, to change it up a little bit from all the digital stuff. I got this from a store called Kiki K, which is here in London. It's got the most amazing stationery, so I will link that below. As for the baby's development, um, let's go through some highlights this month. So now the baby weighs just over a pound. Um, and from now on in, now on forward, what is, what is it? From now on words, it will grow very quickly. So in the next four weeks, it's gonna double in size. The baby has lots of wrinkles all over and the skin is still very thin and transparent. So like if you looked at it right now, you will be able to see right through the baby and see the organs and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> also, it has now developed a sense of touch and it has a stronger grip. And it really doesn't do much but sleep. It sleeps 14 hours a day. So that is what the baby has been up to over the past few weeks. And I think that is a wrap. Um, I might be forgetting some things, but that's all I've got time for now and I really need to pee so I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for watching another one of my updates and uh, like I said I'm going to add in some footage from Dan and my trip to Barcelona this weekend. So I will see you next month. Happy spring! Mwah!